Hello everyone, welcome back to Automation Engineer channel. Today I will show you how to create a new project PCS7 on the Cinematic Manager version 5.6. The first step, I will open the Cinematic Manager. In the Cinematic Manager, we have two types of new project. The one is single project, it's a, a, a totally a, a blank project don't have anything and uh, the the second type is uh, with that project okay in this project I will go with the uh, with that project here we next the CPU type we can uh, select uh, okay I, I will config later next the OP1 here I will let the for the language for selected block I will select the ladder next I will change the name here process process automation engineer finish okay this is our work play the first step I will delete the current cinematic uh, 300 station here delete and I will insert one station we insert new object we have some station here station 400 station 300 the S station for redundancy system and the PC station for the scatter for the SMI I will select the S station Okay, I will rename it AS Automation Station. Okay. And we click on the Cinematic, manage, uh, cinematic uh, Station here. We have the hardware for the station. Double click on the hardware. And come to the SW Config. With this software, we can add the rack, the power supply, the CPU, the communication cap, the I.O. module and config for them. Besides that, I also assign the address for the I.O. on this software. Okay, here we are. The first of one, I will... Uh, we need one rack. So we come to the Cmatic 400 here, we come to the rack 400. And... Uh, because because uh, this project I will create for the redundant uh, system, so I need the object for redundant have the redundant uh, function. You can see the description of the object will appear here. Okay, this rec I will find the rec for redundant. Okay, you can see this rec for redundant and we drag and drop here so it's done for the rack the second object is the power supply we come to the power supply 400 here for redundant okay we just have two i will select uh, power supply 417 and 10 ampere we drop here okay Next, I will uh, add the uh, one PUC CPU. We come to the CPU 400 here. CPU 400 add. And CPU 417. Okay. When we select the object for the hardware, you can see if we select the right one, the competitive, compatible object the the area here will uh, transfer the color to green if we select the wrong CPU it will not uh, we put here and for example okay the CPU here you can see it's brown not green so we cannot move, move in okay okay our CPU here and this is the setting for the profit bus, not 
I will select the not it number one the the network we create new I will let the name drop you at one here and the subnet ID I will let default we can change it but uh, in this project I will let default the network setting here this is the transmission rate I will select 1.5 megabyte per second here okay okay you can see one db master system created next step i need to select one processor for internet communication we come to the cp400 cp400 here come to industrial internet here CP443 in, in one here okay I will select the version 2.0 and right here and this is the config for the Ethernet network first of all I will change the IP 101 and click new the name Ethernet one and the subnet ID I let default. Okay. Okay. So it's done for for uh, for the hardware for one station. Now I will create the redundant station. And we copy this uh, hardware, copy, and we paste here. And we need to config for the Ethernet network for redundant AS 102 here. New Ethernet 2. Okay. Okay. And this is the uh, Profibus not. I will select the not 2 new the profit bot here i will rename it to subnet id let default network setting the same with the profit bot not one for the primary system one by five here okay okay so we come here okay we can change the name of the cpu we come to uh, oh object of property here the name we can say primary cpu okay and for redundant we change to redundant cpu okay for redundant uh, system, we right click on the DP here. We uh, uh, we need to sorry right here. Okay, the DB master system for redundant here. Okay. Next step, I will insert the one distributed the I/O module. We come to IT two hundred M here. We pick up to proper people uh, TP first and ET two hundred M here, and we will select the I/O rack for redundant here. 
and we we run it and drop into the profit button one for primary system and uh, the property window appear here I will select the address E3 and I will select the property box 1 here okay okay when we uh, select the the IO rec and config it will automatically connect to uh, power of the primary and redundant profit bus network okay next I will uh, add the IO module to the AS station <coughs> We come to the we come to the here. We expand the IM the 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 module we select. We we can see the the input and output mod, module here. And we will wrap the selected the module come here. First of all, I will select one the digital input. Here we come uh, digital input. Here, this is the digital input. Have the edge channel, and this is also digital output. So I will come to select here separate. I will select here digital input 16 24 volt. Okay. And you can see when we select the the IO get the input and the output are red here will automatically set in the range okay we we can come and uh, and change it okay next is the digital output The output, we select here. Okay, you can see at red here automatically setting. Next step, I will select the analog input. Come here, we select the here. Okay, and the analog output. Okay, it's done for the selecting the the I/O module. So it's done for the configuration for the hardware. Thanks for watching. In the next video, I will show you how to uh, how to set in the communication between the the hardware, the IS station and the OS station. See you.